Welcome back. This is Rito here with another Terraria Calamity Let's Play episode. We had a little bit of trouble with the bosses last episode, like Cryogen and the twins, because our summons are pretty slow. I did a little bit of research. I also checked on my Discord to see if anyone had any suggestions. And one of the things that I had been wanting to do this series is just go with modded armor. But for now, we can at least get spider armor. And there was some other stuff that I found on the wiki. This right here, it's the combination of the cinder blossom and frost blossom, and I really liked those. And it needs a mithril anvil, so it's good that we defeated our first mechanical boss. And for those who didn't see last episode, they've changed the way Calamity works. You can toggle it, I think, but I like it where you don't get your ore all at once by breaking altars. You get it as you defeat mechanical bosses. I think this is good because it shoots things all over the place, and this should land hits on the bosses a lot easier. And I was just told on Discord about another thing that I could craft, the golden gun. This could actually be pretty good because it doesn't have any class. So the lunic eye just needs a bunch more stardust, which we can get really easily. And the golden gun, we've got everything for now. Perfect. We've got our loot magnet and already 10 stardust. Oh, and we've got a titan heart. I think at this point in the game, this is one of the only things we can craft with stardust. Apparently you can get cold divinity as a malice mode drop from cryogen, and that's a really good summoner item. So I'm definitely gonna wanna pick that up. Well, let's do the lunic eye. This one will do eye core. And then this one fires a beam that reduces enemy protection. This weapon scales with all of your damage stats at once. Okay, now we're getting some spider fangs. Perfect. We will get a whole bunch of these. We can craft the spider staff as well, although I'm not really sure how good it is. Well, let's see what this one does. Oh, this one's so cool. Uh-oh. That's nice. Well, we can just keep switching in between these. It'll give us something to aim at during the boss fight, too, and definitely increase our damage quite a bit with both of these debuffs. Okay, looks like we've got plenty of spider fangs now, so let's head back to base. Oh, I saw there was a hairstylist down there right at the last second when I tr teleported, but I guess we can go back and pick her up in a second. Let's craft our armor first, that's the most important thing. And then we've got the uh, queen spider staff. So let's go back down there and pick up the hairstylist as well as a few more of these fangs. Actually reduces our defense, unfortunately. Minion damage increased by 12%, and we get our number of minions increased by 3 instead of just 1. So we should be able to summon quite a few more of these guys. There we go, now we've got an army of them. And here is the Spider Staff. I'm almost sure that it will not be that powerful. Oh, they kind of latch on. They're not doing that much. 400 damage. Another thing I was working on in between episodes is getting all of these different parts of the Ankh Shield. You can see that in Calamity, you actually can craft these. It's pretty easy to craft each of these items. So we've got all this stuff and we can quickly put together our Ankh Shield, the armor bracing, and now we should be able to craft the Ankh Charm and lastly the Ankh Shield. Okay, well I think it's time to try this out again. We can use our debuffs here. Anything to speed this fight up. I'm actually not even used to shooting anything. It's very foreign feeling right now. Seems like we're doing a little bit faster fight on this one. It's hard to talk. I'm so focused. It's a new day. Um, I finished last episode last night and I wanted to take a little bit of a break before I tried all this again so I could reconsider my strategy since I was struggling so much. But I think we're gonna get it. As long as we can keep our dodges consistent, we should be fine. Almost have our rage. Ooh, that was close. And the beat drop. Very nice. And then once when we can get a little bit more powerful, we can probably get the Cold Divinity. Because I think we can switch Malice Mode on for one boss and then just switch it off after that. Ooh, taking too many hits there. Got some adrenaline there. It's always a good sign. Taking it slow and steady. Not doing anything fancy. Just 
got to make sure we don't get hit by these attacks where it run lunges at us. Like that right there. Got to dodge those every time because those do the most damage. And it seems like our damage is dropping off a little bit as the boss is going faster, but we still have all of these random attacks just shooting out everywhere. So I think those are going to save us towards the end. There's some more adrenaline. And just a rage. Perfect. Whoa, that was close. Oh no, lots of stuff happening. Oh my gosh, so many effects here. I'm actually doing decently well. Oh my gosh, we beat her. Or it, or whatever it is. <laughs> okay, so yes. <laughs> so that was so much easier. I really like this Tundra Flame Blossom Staff. I don't know why it's not on the Calamity class guide. Because I checked the Calamity class guide and I didn't see that at all. And yeah, that would have really helped on my first fight. There we go. I see Cryonic Ore. I was getting worried for a second because that was a while that I didn't see anything. Oh, but I can't break it. Oh no. Do I need Adamantite? Whoa, I got two Medusa heads? That is insane. So I just teleported back to base. It says something is approaching, so that means we're going to have a mechanical boss to fight. Okay, the twins. Perfect. I think we got this. We'll just switch between these things, kite them like we were before. And shouldn't be too big of a deal. We were doing well last time and we didn't even have all the stuff we got now, so as long as we can keep doing damage on the last phase, we'll be fine. I don't know which ones I'm targeting. I just kind of targeted the first one that I saw. Man, I'm loving this ability to use weapons while I'm fighting. It just feels so much more exciting to be able to shoot something even though it doesn't really do any damage. It does help boost our damage. Oh no, got stuck on Sky Island. Nah! Okay, let's get around him. Use a heal. Get them both debuffed. There we go. Rage. So another thing I think is an issue with what I've been doing with my summons during boss fights is I've not stayed close enough to the bosses, I think. And what that does is makes my summons kind of swarm towards me. And so what I would need to do is be more cognizant of my distance from the boss. Because when you have a ranged weapon, you can stay as far as you want. Almost went into a cave there. That would have been horrible. Okay, so I think I just targeted him. Okay, we gotta get focused here. Because this part is very tricky, but now that we've got these stars flying everywhere, we're gonna be just fine. Yeah, this is great. This is exactly what I needed to beat this boss. If I lose, it's going to be because I failed at dodging.
Oh no, we got rockets now. Oh dear, that was bad. I gotta stay focused here. Laser focus. Name of the game. I feel like I can beat anything now. I'm on a roll. Okay, I can't be switching weapons and such. I need to just focus on the dodges. Here we go. The twins almost defeated. There we go. That was actually getting kind of close. And now we have the Souls of Sight. We got blessed with Adamantite and Titanium, thankfully. So let's go back to base. And we can go underground with some spelunkers and whatnot and pick up all that new ore. I love that Calamity just goes and changes vanilla stuff. Because after playing this game so many times, it is really fun to have a little new take on vanilla content. Ooh, this looks like there's actually a lot just right above the underworld. This is great. I'm picking up adamantite and titanium faster than I've ever done on any playthrough. The crazy thing about this Blossom Staff is that I had everything to craft it, like, in the first few minutes of hard mode. Had I crafted this, I don't think I would have failed on the bosses last episode, even without the Golden Gun and all the other stuff that I farmed up. This just is a real game changer to get consistent damage no matter where you are, no matter how fast the boss moves. It's real nice. So now let's go ahead and craft our Adamantite Forge. There we go, Titanium Pickaxe. Oh, and we also can craft our Forgotten Apex Wand. Pretty cool. This one summons sharks. They fly around very similar to the ice chunks. We got one of these special chests. Oh, here's where all of the altars went. This is a Crimson Effigy. When placed down, nearby players have their damage increased by 15% and defense by 10. Nearby players also suffer a 10% decrease to their maximum health. Whoa, that's actually really cool. That's like a great thing to have for an arena. Man, that would have been really nice to go down into this earlier in the game. Wow, this really is where all of the altars went. There we go, I see the cryonic. It glows that light blue. Another thing I was realizing is maybe I could have done more just like resummoning my summons as the boss chases me. That might have done better than just hoping that they would eventually get to the boss. Well, I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and place this little effigy thing right in the center of this arena. Sweet. Now it's time to craft our Daedalus armor. Here's the breastplate. And we've got the legs. So we've got 66 defense. And we went up to 83. Okay, that's pretty cool. I think we lost one minion. But it does give us... The Daedalus Crystal above us, which is nice. And if we craft the Starlight Wings, we'll have pretty much the same flight stats, but we'll get that 5% increased damage and critical strike chance. And we might as well craft the Ornate Shield while we've got it, and the Shield of the Ocean. We'll need those later. I really like these new wings. It makes Silas look really cool. It just turned to night, so I think it is time to go ahead and fight Skeletron Prime. Let's do this. I want to target the laser gun. Oh man, I'm taking too many hits here. Let's just get all these things marked. Go ahead and heal up. Honestly, the only problem with, with this Blossom Staff is that it actually makes it pretty tricky to see the lasers and whatnot because it's just so chaotic. But I have a feeling a lot of these are making contact And almost have adrenaline. There we go. Dodge right through everything because we got our evasion scarf. I'm just going to keep this one active. I don't really like the sound of the Lunic Eye. I know it probably will do extra damage, but it just sounds so loud. I'm finally feeling like I broke through that barrier. I was actually a little bit worried last night going to bed. I was like, what if I 
what have I done? <laughs> this is going to be a, such a difficult challenge, but I'm starting to finally figure out how to do it. Oops. There's some rage. So apparently after we defeat this last mechanical boss, we can actually pick up uh, Hallowed underground. Like it spawns as a natural ore, which is really cool. Because it's always something that you get from the mechanical bosses. Okay, let's try selecting the boss and targeting them. Shooting skulls at us. Oh my gosh, this is this is scary. I forgot how intense this part of the boss fight is. There we go. Some rage. Pop a heal. Kinda sounds like I'm saying Papa. Like father. <laughs> Papa heal. <laughs> This is going to be a long fight. Oh, we actually dodged the skulls that time. have adrenaline. Finally getting the hang of this mechanic. There we go. Adrenaline. And rage. Got too focused on my own rage and adrenaline. I got hit twice. Oops. Ah, no, no. It's not how this is going to go down. We aren't going to be disrespected like that. We're going to defeat this boss for sure. There we go, got around those. Oh, flew right into the rockets though. And gotta get a, a dash. There we go. So close. Rage, here we go. I don't think we can do damage in that phase. Not the best time to use rage, I think. There we go. All the mechanical bosses have been defeated. We can defeat Plantera now. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and we got Souls of Fright and all the other ones. So there's a ton of stuff we can craft. I think we found Hallowed Ore. Sweet. Oh, I don't even have this added to Vein Miner. Oh, Hallowed Mimic too. Not the best area to fight one but we can just keep running. That's exciting. Hallowed Ore for the first time in all of Terraria. At least any mods I've played. Oh no. There's so much going on down here. <laughs> Leave me alone, I just want my Hallowed Ore. No. <laughs> oh, we defeated the Hallowed Mimic right as we died. Okay, let's debuff him. And I think we got him. Maybe we'll get a hook. Ooh, yes. <laughs> Perfect. That's definitely better than a diamond hook. I didn't even realize the boss did drop some hallowed bars, though. That's good. Okay, so the third time you beat him, you get hallowed bars immediately. I also found a bunch of hallowed ore. So unfortunately, it looks like the only thing we can really get is our pickaxe. So let's upgrade that one. The main things that we are going to be able to upgrade are actually with souls. Like these angel treads, that'll be amazing. And then we have the upgrade to the spirit glyph. Actually, that requires hallowed. So this rune says that whenever your minions hit an enemy, you will gain a random buff. This does not stack with downgrades. 
This buff will either boost your defense, summon damage, or life regen for a while. So now we just need to craft the lava waiters. So we just craft the obsidian waiters with water walking and obsidian skull. And then the lava charm plus the obsidian water walking boots to get our lava waiters. And I think we should be able to craft the angel treads now. It's just the combination of Frostbark, Lava Waiters, Harpy Ring, Essence of Sunlight, and the different souls. There we go. So this one's pretty nice. It gives us heat protection in death mode, and it gives us immunity to lava temporarily. And I think it may run a little faster, but I think this is a great place to end this episode. We finally got revenge on Cryogen and the twins and Skeletron Prime. We defeated all three of them this episode, and it feels amazing. Next episode, we've got some of the other bosses like the Aquatic Scourge and the Brimstone Elemental to defeat. And then it'll be time for Calamitous and Plantera. It has been so much fun to try Summoner, a bit frustrating at times. It's episodes like this where I've struggled in the past and then I figure out how to finally beat these bosses as a Summoner and it's really rewarding and really satisfying. So I hope y'all are enjoying this series and seeing me learn. If you are, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.